I still dreaming? Never tell you not to run outside without your shirt and shoes on. Right. Here, come on. You live here? Uh, yeah, I, I know. It's a little small. It's wonderful. But... Sure. I would like something hot to drink. How'd you know that's what I was going to ask you? <laughs> no big deal. I know what people are thinking sometimes. My name's Abigail. What do you do here? Don't you want to know my name first? Oh. I never ask people their names until I'm sure I want to know them. Okay, out of your way. I work downstairs in the restaurant. You cook? Back at the government house, I used to... So what's your specialty? Oh, um, dishwashing. Do you, do you like Cajun food? I never had it. I never had a lot of things. I'm not very experienced. I got exploded off a boat tonight. <laughs> that was an experience. Sorry, it's not very warm, but... That was my dream. A boat exploded, and there's fire raining down everywhere, and there's this, this girl. You! Probably. I stumble into people's dreams a lot. It's kind of like spilling the milk at the dinner table. You, this, uh, this is all too weird. I'm calling the sheriff. Wait. I know I sound kind of strange. I'm not hurt. It's just... I get a feeling sometimes. Like when I was a little girl. I'd play in the bioaquatic orchards, and... They had all these pomegranate trees. Well, I was too little to reach the tree limbs, so I'd take the ones that had fallen to the ground, and I'd cut them open, and I'd eat all those juicy red seeds. But sometimes I'd get one that would ferment, and, well, it would make me feel all lightheaded, like I was going to float away. I know this must all sound pretty strange to you. A lot of strange things have been happening to me. It's not a birthmark. It's a laser tattoo. But you know, that's what I was thinking. Never mind. <laughs> you want to touch it? It's not going to bite. Abigail, why, why would you have something like that on your leg? Where did you come from? It's where I'm going that's a lot more interesting. And why do you ask so many questions? Listen, I don't have anything right now except this blanket. Can I keep it? Thanks. What I was trying to say before was, well, if you don't hold me, I think I'm going to float away. What is your name? Privacy. Privacy is what I have in my own home. Dr. Arcane, our reports say that the baby... Honor it! Or take the consequences.
happy anniversary to Tony. It's been ten years since your sweet little veiled face said I do. I'll never forget the moment when you injected my biorestorative formula into the supple nape of your neck to prove your love and trust in me, to prove it worked. I wasn't ready to turn you. You took your breath from me. Ever since then, I've been looking for the key to bring you back. I've been asked to continue the work on Dr. Woodrow's phylogenetic transformation. It could be an excellent opportunity to prove to them that I'm far superior to Dr. Woodrow. And of course, a, a chance for me to bring you back, my darling. Sweet Titania, there is no other goal in my life. Dr. O'Keen. What? What could possibly be so important for you to disturb me here? General Sunderland. Medical of medicals, Dr. O'Keen. You've been located. I was checking the heating system on the amniotic fluid tank, sir. Have you disposed of Dr. Woodrow's experiments? Completely destroyed in a cargo ship accident last night. No survivors. Dr. Woodrow is hyper-scrupulous, a brilliant mind, perhaps greater than even yours. However, 20 years on one project would bring down even the most sagacious scientist. You will not be disappointed, General. Go back to your tanks, Doctor. Oh, and, uh, happy anniversary. I still have two good ones left. <laughs> they say college grads can't fend for themselves. Oh, this ought to have enough swamp lore to keep the tourists happy. Then comes fishing season. Excuse me, but isn't the sign facing the wrong way? Well, how could that have happened? Don't ask me. You're the college graduate. Oh, <laughs> you must be Abigail. We'll phone me about you. I'm not going to be any trouble staying here, am I? I'll cook every night if you want. Oh, deal. Means I can call my stomach back from vacation. I don't suppose you'll be wanting to stick around to sample any cooking. What? No, sure. I'd, I'd love to sample. I'm sure you would. Who's dressing you these days? Oh, I didn't have any. Will lent me some things. We burn them as soon as you freshen up. Well, I'm sure I have some things that'll fit you. From my high school days. Come on. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. It'll be nice to have another person around here for a change. I must get Will here. You, you were calling me, weren't you? I need your help. The infant's dying. This baby, I, I've seen it before. In my dream, it, it was... It was not a dream. What, then what was it? I don't know anything about... The... Crystal, Abigail! Uh... Call Dr. Hollister! Since I've seen to this is the Ilyansky baby back in 62. Uh, something about bad blood. But without a full workup, I'm just blowing straw wrappers in the dark. Well, Dr. Hollister, I'll pay whatever it costs. <laughs> Don't insult me, Chris. It's not about lab costs, specialist and equipment. All of which is down in Bowman. I'll call Medivac. They may be able to helicopter her out. How much time is there? Yeah, this is Dr. Hollister over in Huma. I've got a medical emergency. I'll hold. We may have already run out of time. The Ilyansky baby died in my arms before I got her to the hospital. Dr. Arcane, I just overheard a medevac request from Dr. Hollister in town. People get sick all the time. It's not my concern. This one may be. The patient was found in the swamp. A female newborn. I tried to tell you before. Get that baby. Be. They left my airboat. I might still be able to catch him. Oh, forget it. They pulled the fuel line. Tighten the line and I'll get 
our guest. Well, I didn't want to say anything before while Trusta was here. But I saw something right before the baby was kidnapped. She had the same birthmark as mine. Well, what is that supposed to mean? I spent my entire life at a government house, alone, except for a watcher and some teachers and Dr. Woodrow. You heard of test tube babies. Is that what you are? Great. I just get used to talking to a plant and now I know a test tube can cook. Well, I'm one step further than just a test tube. They didn't need human genes to make me. Something about synthetic DNA. The thing is, a few days ago, they cleared everything out, packed it up, and put it all on a boat, including me. I thought we were moving somewhere. It's more like they were throwing me away. Throwing you away? <laughs> Why? Dr. Woodrow always said he was disappointed in the way that I turned out. Whatever that means. <laughs> it means he's either blind or a complete idiot. Wait, what about, what about the baby? I guess she was on the boat with me. I never saw her at the house. There were all these rooms that I wasn't allowed in where experiments were going on. There's just so much I don't know. Don't worry, we're gonna find that out soon enough. That's the problem. Even if we find the baby and we bring her back, there's nothing anybody can do. No matter how big of a hospital that we take her to. Like me, she's one of a kind. There's no one in the world that can save her. What do you suppose Arcane's gonna do with this baby? Dispose of it, he wants no evidence. Suddenly lost steering, could have hit some swamp grass. You better check the rudder, I'll start her up again. safe here. From whole cloth, if you will. Let's just say the only difference between him and me is that I do not rest on the seventh day. You're not God. You're a garbage man. Your mistake is that some of what you dispose of is human life. Well, that wasn't a mistake. That was the raison d'etre. See, evolution takes about as long as the French opera to get on with it, and we can't wait. I'm concerned with immediate result. I'm concerned with life. The infant. Yes, she is dying, poor soul. But if you want me to give you some magic cure to help one of Dr. Woodrow's blunders, well, excuse the commonality, but uh, needle in a haystack springs to mind. The infant is in hemolytic crisis. The plant still thinks like a scientist. This is not a game. It's human life. I have not killed you in the past because the kid you was to become you. A dubious distinction at best. Tell me now, what will save that baby? Hydroxycinic acid in these tanks. But it must be carefully bioprocessed through protein mass to be effective. And that technology is light years away. For you, maybe. But for a plant, a walk in the park. No, you fool, don't! <laughs> I now have the formula to save your life. Take her. 
You are her. How? My fingers pulse with life and power. They form life. But they're not delicate enough to save a dying baby. Use this. Pomegranate? You mean no acids in the seeds will save her. Go, now. You found her, how? I can't explain. Well, I'll call Dr. Hollister. There's no time. It's all right. It's just pomegranate juice. And it'll work just like it did with me. So that's why I liked pomegranates. You're both crazy. I'm calling the doctor. No, believe me. It won't do any good. This is our only chance. Pomegranates? Hey, Abigail, I don't know what Middle Ages you crawled out from, but in a modern world... The crisis is over. The baby's fine. Oh, there's the foster parents. Doc says if they work out, they could adopt her permanently. Come on, let's meet them. In a minute. Just a few more nails. You've got enough nails in that board to land a plane on it. Why don't you want to meet the new couple? Ever since I can remember, I've had this dream about mom and dad <laughs> driving up in this big dusty car and telling me that I was their daughter. That they were gonna take me home. Kinda like what's going on over there. Looks good, huh? Now the whole world can read it. That's right. Nothing's any good if you turn your back to it. Come on. Let's go meet a dream of yours. This pond restores the body of a plant each night, but underneath is still the soul of a man. <laughs> 